Hello everyone, Chum Engineer. Today I'm showing you an attack called the CSRF, which is a cross-site request forgery. Everything you need to know about this attack is available here on the OWASP's website. Um, so CSRF is a cross-site request forgery. This is an attack that is commonly used and impacts a lot of things, um, uh, especially home-based routers and stuff like that, are very uh, prone to CSRF. Um, there's many ways of doing it. I'm going to show you a quick way of doing this. Now, the whole idea is is that there are websites that, um, for instance, you go and change your password uh, on a website. And the most secure way is that website to log you out and then you have to log back in. Or if I took that same URL and put it into another tab in the web browser, I won't be, uh, that action will not be repeated. Um, I'll get some sort of uh, like an error or tell me to log in again, something like that. In CSRF vulnerable websites, sometimes that doesn't happen. Well, actually, it doesn't happen at all. So say you go and change your password. You change your password uh, for your, your page and then you continue going on. Now, in a CSRF vulnerable website, which I'll show you now, um, I can take that same URL and modify the inputs on that URL and change the password again. So, what happens? So, say you know, you've know you logged into your, say this was an eBay account, um, and you log into your eBay account and you recently changed your password. And you're still in say the same browser session now this is again a very simple way of doing it and there's a more advanced ways of doing it such as cookie stealing and stuff like that um, all of the one all of the different types are here if you're interested okay so you know we can steal your cookies and and do all that fun stuff um, but another way of doing it would be um, say say uh, yeah you've logged into a site you've recently changed your password and you have a web page that says click here to do whatever you know and then you click the link it doesn't go anywhere you don't know exactly what you did and the user thinks that something's you know, you know something's wrong with the link meanwhile we've gone ahead and changed your password or done something else in home-based routers what's really bad about that is that I can take that same URL and I oftentimes in the URL you can see what happened what that person did so for instance you change your DNS server to like 4.2.2.2 in the URL sometimes you actually see 4.2.2.2 and I can hijack the URL change 4.2.2.2 to you know blah 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 um, that is a like a DNS server that I can control and I can actually edit the files or sorry edit the settings on your on your router so I'll give you an example here um, I'm using Metasploitable so Metasploitable is a um, it, it's a server uh, with uh, it's a server download that you can um, download and use in a virtual machine and it has um, it has intention it, like a uh, web pages that are intentionally vulnerable so you can do pen testing and stuff like that um, so uh, this is one of the basic attacks that it comes with so this is called the dem I forget what it's called I think it was the, the dem vulnerable web application okay so I log in And we're going to go to CSRF. There's other uh, attacks you can use, like uh, file inclusion, SQL, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and uh, But I'm doing the CSRF today. So today I want to change my password. So say I change my password to 123. One, two, and I click change. Notice what's happening in the URL. This would be a very poorly designed um, application you know it, it stands to its name you know damn vulnerable web application because look at here we have the new password and the password is in the URL okay 
Now, if I was packet sniffing at this time, or I was watching uh, in a man in the middle attack, or someone sniffing around the network, first of all, if that is your application, uh, if that's the URLs that are showing up when someone changes their password, that's horrible because I can see people's passwords. All I would have to do at that point is guess their usernames. This is the worst part about it. Okay, so I take the URL. Okay, so, you know, I'm Alice, I'm the user, or Bob, whatever you want to call it. I'm using the page, and I find the link. Imagine a, imagine a button, okay? I'm not going to code a button right now. But imagine a button that looks for looks for that last URL because it's stolen a cookie or a session, right? And we'll change it to one, two, three, four. Hit enter. What just happened? The password changed. Okay? If this was a button and you know none the wiser I just clicked this button, I could have uh, obfuscated that I could have hidden it in an iframe so you would never have saw it the the actual page or none of this and yet when I go I just change my password to 1234 or sorry 123 from before and now when I type in my password oh crap I can't get in so I go I have to do admin 123 I'm trying it's not working but what's my password 1234 Okay. So, what should happen, okay, what should happen is that when I change my password, so say CSRF, change my password, 123, change, log out. Okay. So, in theory, if I try the attack again with that last with the last way that that just happened uh, sorry that last um, technique it won't work because the user logged out the sessions ended I can't hijack the session that's not happening right now and so um, that's that's all I can do however if I log back in uh, sorry If I log back in and I run this again, okay, let's do this. Edit the URL again. The password is already one two three, so it's not valid if I do one two three again. But I do one two three four. Oh, uh, uh oh, that didn't. That's not what I want. Hold on. One two three four. Over here, one, two, three, four. Hit enter. The password's changed. So here I go again. Log out. Admin. One, two, three. Ah. Okay. So with CSRF vulnerable page, like I just showed you, and again, this is one type of technique there, there's a couple of other ways of doing this I was just able to hijack your account and all you need to be is logged in so essentially let's say this was a forum okay and I found out that your forum is CSRF vulnerable what I could do is write uh, write a script or something to capture your username or find the way that how the URL is formatted and uh, say say this was password conf and then equals the username and then one two three four so I would know that the username say it's Bob and one two three four I can just you know grab that somehow to have your username and then the password I can hijack all the accounts everyone who clicks on my link with my script uh, I can take over the account. So I hope this was a clear uh, tutorial on CSRF. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. You can also email me, sean at seanmancini.com or visit my website, seanmancini.com. Thanks for watching, everyone.